everyone. So I'm here tonight to share two cards that I made using Mama Elephant's new Donut Treats stamp and die set, and then an older um, cover die that they have called the Tri Window cover die. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to use the Tri Window cover die to cut out a shaker frame for the card, and I'm using um, this really rainbow paper pack by Lawn Fawn to, um, as the, as the shaker window. All right, so I'm just gonna run that through my die cutting machine, take it out, and then we are gonna hold on to that center panel because we're going to do a dimensional inlay greeting with the word hugs that's included with the tri-window cover die. So I just ran that through my die cutting machine to get hugs and we're gonna save both pieces um, because we're gonna use both of those. Okay, now because it's gonna be a dimensional inlay greeting, we're going to cut out the word hugs five more times, so a total of five times, but in the actual card, we're only gonna use four of the layers. And then we're gonna save this piece of paper and we're going to use this to make our second card. And now I'm gonna show you the process that I use to glue together um, the different layers um, of the layers. So I just took a tweezer, a reverse tweezer, and then I used multimedia mat, which is the glue that I, I typically use just because it's always on my desk, so it's accessible and it, and it works well and dries quickly. And then I'm just going to glue each of those layers together, and then in between, I'm going to put them under an acrylic block so that it helps to kind of set the glue. And then the last layer I'm gonna put on is the rainbow top layer. So I went and I did that for the rest of the letters and I'm not gonna bore you by showing all that. With the magic of editing, we're able to skip right past that. And now we're going to work on the backdrop for our shaker card. And I'm just using some Distress Oxide ink in shaded lilac. And I don't really care about getting a uniform or even blend. I just want to get some color into the background and I do want it to be a little bit uneven and then I'm going to spray it with water as well um, to give it a little bit more interest so there's more kind of water spots and flecks all over the place. And now I'm just going to take a paper towel to get some of the excess water off and then go over that with a heat gun to dry it quickly. Now we're going to work on coloring the images for our card and we're going to use all of these images except for the box. We ended up not needing the box. And we're gonna color our donuts in um, three different pastel shades. So the first color scheme we're gonna use is B60 and B63. And we're just gonna color in the frosting on two of the donuts with that. And then for a shadow, we'll add a little B66. We'll also give one of the little mice a hat um, in that same purple color tones. Now we're gonna, um, the next pastel shades we're gonna use are B000, B000, and B01. And we're going to use the darkest shade along the top of the frosting because that's sitting underneath the donut and um, you would expect there to be a shadow there. So for the pinks, I'm using V000, V000, and then V01 using that same method of um, the darkest shade being along the top of the donut and then it getting lighter as you get closer um, to the actual donut. For the donuts, um, I just used a real simple method of E40, E41, and E43 for um, several of the donuts and then the other color scheme I did was with E30, E31, E34, and maybe a little bit of E35. So all the pastel donuts are going to be colored in in those shades. And again, I'm making it lighter towards the middle of the donut and then darker along the bottom and the edges. For the little mice, um, I'm gonna color them in shades between E40 and E44. And this is the darkest mouse that we're gonna make. So his base I think was E42 and then the shadow color was E44 with R20 for the cheeks. These last two mice we're going to do in a lighter color scheme with E40 and E42, and then E43 for the shadow. 
And then the next thing that we're going to do once we finish coloring the mice is we're going to color in the donuts. And I thought it would be fun to add some chocolate donuts. So we're going to use a variety of browns for this. For the first chocolate donut, we're going to use E20s and E23, 25, and 29 um, with the, the darker colors along the bottom and then the lighter colors towards the middle. And then I'm using my favorite little trick, which is to take, instead of using a colorless blender to lighten, um, lighten something up, I'll use the lightest color in that family shade. And it kind of gives the, um, kind of gives it a little bit of a glow. I don't know if you can see that in that middle chocolate donut there, but I just, I love that look. So that's kind of how I lighten things up. Um, now I'm also showing you a couple other variations of how you could make chocolate, just depending on which markers that you have. So just follow along with, if you want to use those other color schemes with the caps that are on the right hand side of the page. Now we're just going to add some chocolate frosting to some of the donuts. And for that, I'm using E44 and then E49. Okay. And then next we're going to move on to the candles for the candles. I just gave a dot of Y15 and then a dot of Y07 to the very bottom of the candle. And then I just used a tiny, tiny bit of C3, just lightly flicking from the bottom of the candle towards the middle, just so that there's a little bit of a shadow. Now I used the die cuts in the kit to cut all of the images out and I ran them through my die cutting machine and there they are, they're so cute. And now we're gonna put the card together. So I already attached the um, the lilac background to the card base and now we're just making the shaker window I put some acetate behind the frame and then on top of that I'm going to put our hugs there and then I'm going to use some double layered foam tape to um, you know as a thing to give the the card dimension and to allow the the shaker elements to kind of move freely inside and we're going to only put the shaker elements, the sprinkles here from Honeybee Stamps into two compartments because the middle compartment is going to be completely um, closed. You're, you're not going to see any of any of the background. You'll see that in a second. So now I'm just taking the tape off and we are going to put the card together. So again, just have, a, have to have a little bit of courage and then just plan it down, flip it over, and then hopefully, hopefully it all works out. This time it did. So I'm happy. Okay, now let's put the little images onto the card. So this is a birthday card. So we're gonna put the little birthday image in the top right-hand corner, and then a stack of donuts in the lower left-hand corner. Some more donuts, cause you can never have enough donuts on your birthday or any day um, in that same left-hand corner. And then we're gonna add the little mice. So they're all kind of like hanging out among the donuts. Um, and now we're going to stick in our little letters into the to make the dimensional inlay um, greeting. So I just use my tape runner as the glue for that. You can use, I guess, whatever glue you like best. Now we're going to shake it all up, see if it works. It does. Very, very cute. Now we're going to pick a sentiment and I decided to pick the sentiment that says, you do not even know how excited I am about your birthday. Um, and then I realized that that one little mouse needed to be popped up dimensionally, so I just put one layer of home tape behind him. I'm going to adhere the greeting directly to the card base. And for this, I I used white embossing powder to emboss the greeting on black cardstock. Then we're gonna put the little mouse on top, and there we have it. Finally, we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle with, I think this is one of the tonic sparkle pens. I'm just gonna put it on the frosting um, of all the different donuts, and that is, going to complete the front of the card now we're going to go inside and add another greeting so here I thought the greeting that says hope your day is sprinkled with joy is a lot of fun given that there's sprinkles on the front of the card in the in the shaker window and then I just um, stamped a little bear with some corn I think that's forget me not blue by lawn fawn ink and that's done all right so now let's move on to our second card this is a nice easy fast one um, so here I just took a piece of pattern paper from that same Lawn Fawn Rainbow collection pack and I just adhered that to the card base. Now I'm taking that little hugs panel that we had from before and I'm going to apply that to the left hand side of the card base. I took another piece of the rainbow pattern paper from that same Lawn Fawn pack and I put a little 
lacy edge on the back using a, a die from Lawn Fawn, their lacy edge borders. Then we're just gonna attach that to the front. And we're gonna add a stack of donuts that is popped up on one layer of dimensional foam tape. We're gonna put a little mouse on top of that and we're gonna pop him up as well. Um, but making sure that his feet are touching the donut so there's no tape behind that. Um, now, because the greeting says, I hope your day is sprinkled with joy, I thought we should add some sprinkles to the donut. So I did that with a white gel pen, although they're kind of faint, you can't see it that well. Then we're gonna add the sentiment. And then finally, we're gonna add some glossy accents to the frosting on the donuts, just to add a little pop and pizzazz to the card. Um, because I guess by my standards, this is a pretty plain card. Usually mine are a little bit more, a little bit more intricate than this. But I think that, I think it's pretty and I think it works well. So that's it. Um, here are our two cards that we made tonight using Mama Elephant's Donut Treats stamp and die set and tri-window cover die. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give it a go and try to make these cards. Um, have a great day or night everyone and I'll see you soon in another video.